Hi, my name is Jamil Saidi. I'm the current chairperson of DUCAC and in collaboration with the uh, Ability Co-op Group, we're working to ensure that our clubs are accessible and inclusive. Accessibility and inclusion is no longer optional for clubs and societies in Trinity. It is an expectation. Disabled students make up approximately 12% of the student body in Trinity. Students with disabilities spend much of their lives being told what they can and can't do, and coming to university is often one of the biggest accomplishments in their lives to date, as is the case with most students. Coming to college is an exciting time for most of us, and it is rich in opportunity for experiencing new things, connecting and engaging with new people, and discovering more about yourself as a person. However, much of that takes place external to the academic side of things in college. It really is the engagement in clubs and societies where much of this personal growth and experience takes place. And yet students with disabilities are often locked, locked out of clubs and societies due to a, a lack of awareness of what, on what accessibility is. One of the steps we need to take in this is to have an inclusion, um, accessibility and inclusion officer and whilst in uh, collaboration with the Ability Co-op group we kind of explored the importance of having this sort of an officer role and I think the main thing is that inclusion is very important. Um, within Trinity you get people from all different walks of life and I think it, having you know that accessibility and inclusion officer will kind of ensure that you know the clubs are taking effort to ensure you know integration and to kind of break down barriers. I was the first formal accessibility officer in Trinity VDP and my role began to expand beyond accessibility over the course of the year and inclusion became a focus of my work. As accessibility officer I was the person of contact for people with disabilities who maybe wanted to or were considering joining society activities but weren't sure if the activities would meet their needs. Accessibility and inclusion officers are important as they ensure that club and society activities are organised so that students, uh, so that all students really, including students with disabilities, can engage and participate in club and society life. The main responsibilities um, of these officers would kind of be to act as a point of contact, you know, and sort of like a welcoming member for all new members and current members who are in the club. And there is they would be responsible for guiding the club to ensure that um, you know they're inclusive, following college policies, and communicating these amongst the clubs and ensuring best practice. As part of the Inclusive Clubs and Societies project, the team drafted roles and responsibilities for accessibility inclusion officers. The roles and responsibilities are 1. To ensure that people with disabilities are included and feel that they belong in the club or society. 2. To ensure that activities and events are accessible and inclusive to all disability types by acknowledging universal design for access and learning. Three. To address the specific accessibility requests of people with disabilities in a timely manner. 4. To book Irish Sign Language Interpreter services in a timely manner. You can see our guidelines for more info on how to book an ISL interpreter. 5. To ensure that all committee members are aware of and committed to accessibility and inclusion in their individual role. 6. To create cultural awareness within their club or society regarding accessibility, inclusion and the barriers that people with disabilities experience in college. 7. To ensure that the club or society is adhering to college policy relating to access and inclusion, such as the Accessible Information Policy and the Equality Policy. To evaluate the accessibility and inclusion of events and activities delivered by the club or society each year. The role is very much aligned with my role as an accessibility officer within Trinity VDP during my time as a student. The role differs in the sense that there is more formal uh, emphasis on inclusion and while this was something that I actively engaged with um, as an accessibility officer, it was not a formal responsibility in the role so there's more of an emphasis on inclusion in, in these um, roles and responsibilities. The conclusion we came to is that we can work with the executives to ensure that this uh, these roles are part or this position, this inclusion officer position is part of uh, clubs and societies. So we can implement it into our constitution that all clubs must have 
um, an accessibility and inclusion officer role. Uh, we can help to promote their work um, that they would undertake and highlight the clubs that already have these roles in place in their committees. And then we can also look to involve these roles specifically in the annual sports awards alongside the administrator of the year and volunteer of the year. And these officers would be guided through um, training and workshops. So which we would kind of provide for them to ensure that they, you know, they become sufficient in their role. And we believe this is a, um, a really good step to kind of making ensuring that all clubs um, are inclusive and to kind of include, um, increase that in accessibility and inclusion for everyone around campus.